Hey there guys, it's the infamous one, and before I start this video, I just want to say uh, thank you to the MW3 Plays of the Day channel for letting me put this up on their channel, and uh, hopefully it goes good with those guys, and they uh, I get some subs from them. <laughs> um, but anyways, so let's get into the topic of the day, which is Blops 2, uh, Black Ops 2, and um, invading the game. Alright, so... Um, most of you guys know there's been leaked information, uh, some of you guys probably know more information than I do, and, um, yeah, excuse me, and, um, so, the rating I would give Black Ops 2 is actually a 7 out of 10, I, um, I would have given Black Ops 1 a 8 out of 10, and MW3 also an 8 out of 10. But Black Ops 2 just doesn't seem as hyped up as I think I was for MW3 and Black Ops 1. But um, it's still going to be a pretty decent game, I think. Um, especially for only making it within two years. And yeah, so why I would give it a 7 is because the perks, they seem a little bit overpowered. There's a perk that allows you to be a friendly on the enemy team's radar. And um, when you got the pro perk of that, you can see the enemy friendlies. But um, when you don't, then um, all the people on your radar could be a friendly. And you, and you have 12 friendlies on your radar. That means like 6 of them are enemies or something. Oh, you, you have 11 friendlies and then you... But anyways, um, that seems a little crazy. Uh, the only way to counter that is by actually using the um, another perk, which is um, if someone with silencer shoots, you they show up on your radar. So like, really, the the whole point of a silencer is to not show up on the radar. So you're gonna go and put something. So if I shoot someone with silencer, I'm gonna show up on their radar. I, I don't like that, um, because I always use silencer no matter, like, what, um, unless I, like, just prestiged, and, um, talking about prestiging, there's gonna be 15 prestiges, and apparently, after every two prestiges, they add another five levels that you need to go before you can prestige again, so, uh, the first prestige is level 50, and then by 15th prestige, you have to get to level 90 to prestige, so that's going to be kind of crazy. Um, but hopefully the levels go pretty fast. Like in Black Ops, they went pretty fast and you were able to get to level 50 pretty easily. Um, but yeah. So also, um, talking about prestiging, you, um, you get to customize your perks a little bit more in this game. You uh, get to... Um, there's like two versions of a perk that you could pick when you uh, get it pro or elite, whichever one you get to do this at. And um, you can customize it to either do one thing or another. And um, if you make the wrong decision, then you're stuck with it for your entire prestige and you can't fix it until you prestige again, which I think is a little bit crazy. Maybe you should be able to fix it once you're like the highest level of that prestige you should be able to fix it if you would like but um, that's just what they have now um, they Im they put in the um, MW3 point system but they changed it a little bit with um, bomb plants being two two points and uh, capping the enemy flag is two points and some other things are two points, but mostly it's just one point, like in MW3. Uh, they are bringing back specialists, but they are changing it a little bit, which I kind of like. And um, so that's really why I would give this game a 7. Um, basically, the perks are what kills me. And then also, they don't have a Moab or a Nuke. So. I was kind of hoping for that in the next Call of Duty because that's just like the most fun thing to go after, like trying to get that 25 kill streak with just your guns. Um, I know some people it's just like sleeping, but for some other people it's like, um, I don't know, catching a fly ball at a baseball game and that's like pretty rare. 
So, um, yeah, this video basically has a minute left, so I'm just gonna tell you guys really quick. Um, oh, there's gonna be no Team Defender, apparently, but they are gonna bring back uh, Kill Confirmed and Ground War, which Ground War is always in Call of Duty. But they will be bringing back Kill Confirmed, which I think is pretty fun. Um, I think they also said Infected is not gonna be in the next Call of Duty, which kinda sucks, because, uh, Infected was also another fun game mode to play. Um, that's basically all that I have to say about this game. Um, I give it a 7 out of 10. And um, yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, check me out. Alright, bye.